I'm Blair Austin. We uh, farm on the Marlow Road. Uh, share farming this farm on a 45-55 split. Um, and we're on about 200 hectares. So milking about uh, a touch over 300 cows. Uh, well, our project was obviously to save silage. That was our main aim of the game. Um, we've, got, we've got access to a loosened paddock that we have for this farm that's away from here that we bale and bring to the farm. So we we're looking to, um, to sort of maximise our feed with being able to ration it a lot more with a, with a mixer wagon and um, extending our silage out further. Basically just um, saving feed and probably um, knowing a bit more about um, the nutritionalist side of the cow as well. And, um, and obviously what we put in there um, comes out in the vat at the end of the day. So when it's dry like it is at the minute, that's, that's why we do it. They're very well made, so they don't get knocked around. So we, we rush, like there's probably 300 cows that rush in here fairly quick for their feed, and um, they can't move them. So that, that's the main aim of, um, once we put it here, um, you know, we need it to stay, and obviously we're on uh, river flats here, so, um, you know, we need to make it nice and firm that it, that it didn't get washed away and stuff like that. The easeability of actually putting them in, like they were very easy to put in, like we used a um, tally handler, but like very easy. And, um, and good size, like um, cart, like whether you use your mixer wagon or the gill trap cart, they'll both feed into it. So we can, we can, you know, if one breaks or whatever, we can just rip the other one on and get into it. As in I said, with the strength and the, um, and the go about it, and I like the size of them, the size is a good size. Don't worry about the cost of the, the initial cost of the start, whether it be the whole pad or, or vice versa. Look at it over a year's time and you'll have paid for it. Simply just in feed costs, like savings.